Hello, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the new RC Airplane Design Calculator. The Airplane Design Calculator is currently live on the website, and we will be able to take a look at a live view of it shortly. Let's first talk about what the new calculator does. The RC Airplane Design Calculator was designed to assist those that are creating their own airplanes from scratch. It may not seem easy to design your own airplane from scratch, this is where the calculator is there to help make that process easier. It does so by figuring out some key design parameter dimensions to help guide your build. When the calculation is submitted, parameters will be determined for the main wing, horizontal stabilizer, vertical stab, and some other airplane performance specs. Let's cover some of the limitations of the calculator. To keep the calculator as simple as possible, there are a few major assumptions made. This includes the airplane is designed at a foam core board. Foam core board allows the lightweight, inexpensive, and easy to build airplane making it perfect for almost any builder. The second major assumption is that the wing area are of a rectangular shape. You can see that in the image here. For the calculator in general, you do not need to follow the calculated dimensions to a T. In fact, the best thing to do is to use the design calculator tool as a guideline and then experiment with your design. What happens when you make small adjustments to any one of the parameters? This will ultimately lead to the best experience. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, the calculator itself. The first thing that we need to do is go to the radiocontrolinfo.com website. From here under the information tab, we can select the RC airplane calculators and click RC Airplane Design Calculator. This will bring us to the Airplane Design Calculator page. From here you can see that we have two items that we need to actually fill in followed by the submission button. So let's first talk about the airplane type. There are two types of airframes and that is the trainer style and the sport style. The trainer style airframe has the wing on the top and is of an excellent beginner airframe maximizing stability and slow flight characteristic. The sport style airframe typically has the wing in the center or bottom of the airplane. This allows the airplane to be more aerobatic in nature, sacrificing stability in turn. Choose the airframe that suits your build requirements. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're gonna go ahead and click trainer. We're then gonna select the airplane wingspan this is of course in inches as it states here. We're going to set that about 60 inches. And then we're going to go ahead and submit that. Upon submission you can see we get all the different parameters that are calculated. The only one that's not calculated is the first one here, the wingspan. This is what we selected at 60 inches. From there we have everything else calculated. For example the fuselage length at 43 inches, the wing area at 655 square inches, the wing cord at 11 approximate inches. We also get wing thickness and we get the wing surface area. What's nice about this is it calculates how big the, ail the aileron surface area should be. We also get the prop to the leading edge of the main wing distance. This is very good because it puts into perspective where we should be locating our main wing relative to the prop. This would be at 9 inches in this particular example. Moving on to some of the horizontal stabilizer design details, we get the, stabil the stabilizer surface area at 164 square inches, the elevator surface area, much like what we had here with the aileron being calculated, we also get the elevator surface area at 41 square inches, and then we have that, this reference point again, the main wing leading edge to horizontal stabilizer leading edge at 32.7 inches. From there we have the vertical stabilizer design details where the surface area is 65 and a half square inches and the rudder surface area at 16.4. Now the final little bit of information that we have are performance design specs. This includes the center of gravity, weight, and recommended power. So the recommended maximum all up weight that has been calculated for us is 65.6 ounces. And the recommended power output at this 65.6 ounces would be about 410 watts. From there we have the maximum wing loading using those two parameters coming in at 14.4 ounces per square foot of surface area on the wing. Then we have our center of gravity dimension, 2.73 to 3.6 inches. Now I want to talk about two items in this area here. The first being the maximum recommended weight. So this is of course the maximum and this contributes to this power setting 
with this wing loading. Now, if you want the airplane to be a little bit more floaty in the air, you will want to reduce this number. In order to reduce this number, you'd have to reduce this value. And of course, this is a maximum, so preferably you are under this anyway. It, it does not mean that it's not going to fly if you come out to 70 ounces or so. It just means that it's not going to be what would be recommended by this calculator. And you can determine what kind of flying style you want. If you want a really floaty airplane, you may want to get down near the 50 ounce mark, which will probably push this around 10 ounce per square foot. The second item that I want to talk about is the center of gravity, 2.73 to 3.6 inches. And this goes for almost everything in this. You can see that at the very end of each line, you have this letter. For example, center of gravity has this M. We can scroll to the very bottom of this page and take a look at what M actually means. So M is measured from the leading edge of the wing right to our center of gravity. That's exactly how we find out what this parameter in the calculation, what it's actually referring to. For example, we can go to another parameter up here, one of the more difficult ones. Let's say, take a look at main wing leading edge to horizontal stabilizer leading edge. This is letter J. We can go ahead and take a look at what this exactly means. J is referring to this line, to this line. Now we have a visual reference of what that means and it makes probably more sense to us. So that's really how the, the airplane design calculator works. Please enjoy! And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be the first to see videos similar to this one.